Hello and welcome to the course introduction of Oracle DataGuard Grid Part 1. My name is Steve Hamilton and I will be your instructor for this course. Please remember that DataGuard is a registered trademark of the Oracle Corporation. This course, we will describe the differences between the physical and logical databases as it pertains to the Oracle DataGuard environment. We will look at the overall architecture of Oracle's DataGuard utility. And finally, we will use Oracle's DataGuard with Oracle's grid control environment. This course will teach you how to actually implement the Oracle's DataGuard utility. Oracle DataGuard is dealing with physical and standby databases. Oracle DataGuard does not deal with streaming. Oracle Streaming is dealing with two live databases. Within the Oracle DataGuard environment, we will learn the differences between what a physical standby database is and a logical standby database. We will learn how to create the Oracle DataGuard with the Oracle Grid Control Tool. We will learn how to create a physical uh, database and a logical database within Oracle DataGuard using Oracle's Grid Control. We will describe the overall concepts and structure of Oracle DataGuard. The prerequisites of this course is to complete Oracle Database Administration Part 1, Oracle Database Administration Part 2, and have at least six months of database administrator experience. The topics of this course will include Oracle DataGuard components. These are the individual components that will be required to successfully run Oracle's DataGuard utility. We will take an in-depth look at Oracle's DataGuard transport method, whether it's the redo apply or the apply services. We will learn what the differences are between a failover and a switchover. One is a planned outage and one is an unplanned outage. Topics will also include Oracle's DataGuard framework, a physical standby, a logical standby, as well as your primary, your secondary, and the DataGuard broker utility. We will learn how to configure the overall DataGuard broker configuration. In the event of a failure, DataGuard broker will automatically will perform the failover for us. Topics will also include defining the gap resolution. This would be when the differences between your physical standby are versus your primary database and how we can get both databases current, how we can resolve the gaps in data between your primary database and your secondary database. We will define the data guard protection modes. There are three types of protection modes available within Oracle's data guard, and we'll define and describe all three of them. We will learn the specific operating system requirements within Oracle's data guard, whether it's on a Linux system, a Windows system, or an AIX system. We will learn how to manually create a physical standby database. We can also learn how to, how to create a physical standby database using the grid. We will also learn how to manually create a logical standby as well as creating a logical standby database using the grid. The curriculum path for Oracle's high availability solution will be real application clusters, data guard, Oracle clusterware, backup and recovery, Oracle Streams, and the overall information lifecycle life management. Lab exercises can be downloaded from the download section on this course. Please remember, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to use the question and comment box found below. Okay, let's get started. 